We're joined now by Dalen Kiefler, a Kamloops Blazers forward who was selected in the 2022 NHL draft by the New York Islanders. Dalen, let's jump right to it. Uh, draft weekend, well, draft week, I guess. It was a Thursday and Friday. Uh, where were you? What were you doing? And, and how excited uh, were you and those close to you when the New York Islanders called your name? Yeah, I was uh, I was at home uh, in Statler here. Um, we live out at Buffalo Lake, so I was at home with my family and uh, one of my good buddies. Um, he took me out golfing in the morning. He said, I know you're not going to be sleeping anyways. So he said, let's get out there. And we went out for a round in the morning and then uh, pretty much watched the TV until until my name was called. The New York Islanders, I mean, a, a team that's that's steeped in tradition, has a little bit of Western Hockey League flavor with the likes of, you know, Matthew Barzell, Ryan Pollock on their NHL roster right now. Uh, you know, tell me a little bit about, you know, what you know about the organization and how excited you are to be a part of it. Yeah, obviously it's a, it's an organization that's been around and uh, I'm honored to be a part of it. Um, so many guys have went through that, um, through New York and, you um, to be able to be in that spot. I've never been out there, so I'm excited to go check it out and see the city, but no, it's it's real exciting. Hey, it was a pretty nice uh, draft for the Kamloops Blazers. Four of your, three of your teammates, four Blazers in total, heard their names called uh, at the NHL draft. I mean, when you look at this year, last year, uh, and, and, and years prior, it's it's been a pretty busy weekend for the Blazers social media people and for John Keane and, and, and all the folks there in Kamloops. I mean, but what does that tell you about just the makeup of your group and, and, and just, you know, the, the fact that, that you've been able to bring in so many quality people and quality players? Yeah, I think it's obviously kudos to all the players, um, even the guys who haven't been drafted. Um, they, they're just as much help as anybody else has. And, and our staff is unbelievable, um, helping us improve, teaching us things. Um, can't thank the Blazers enough. Um, love being a part of that organization. And um believe everything that they that they do we all have the same beliefs going in and I think that it's, it's everybody not just just the players who went I'll tell you what I mean your stats jump off the page Dale and when you look at last season and you know the number of goals you scored uh, for the Blazers uh, both in the regular season and in the playoffs and just kind of the increased role you played on that team uh, versus earlier in your career but I want to go back to last year and the prior to the start of the season you got to attend an NHL camp I mean how much did that and and just kind of preparing for that experience maybe kickstart you and, and and get you on your way in terms of of taking a step in, in your development last season and eventually into this year's draft? Yeah, it's it's been a huge step. I think uh, you get to see what it's all about being at the next level and seeing what it takes, and um, then coming into the season having the confidence to be able to to move on and know that I can play with anybody and. Um, no, it, it's, it was huge for me. I, I think. Tell you what, there's, I'm certain a lot of buzz in your dressing room, a lot of buzz around the city of Kamloops about next May and the 2023 uh, Memorial cup. I mean, you know, when you guys found out that that was on the dock at how much hungrier did it make uh, yourself and, and uh, your teammates as a group to, uh, you know, to get next season underway and to show Canada what you've got to uh, come next May at the Salmon Center. Yeah, you said it. There's gonna there's gonna be a buzz, especially next year's. The city's gonna be excited. Um, we're excited, and obviously we we want to we want to be ready. And that starts right now in the summer. Put make sure we're putting in the work. And I've talked to lots of guys, and they're they're excited to to see what's about to happen. But um, it's a long ways away. But it's definitely something you're thinking about. Tell you what, uh, coming up before that will be a chance to head to New York and take part in a in an NHL camp with the Islanders, the team that selected you. I mean, as you look now, we're speaking at the end of July and, and close to the long weekend here in August, but uh, I'm sure you're, you're busy in the gym and busy on the ice and, and getting prepared for next season. But what are some of the things that you're kind of focusing on in preparation for, you know, the season with the Blazers and, and getting to experience a camp, uh, a camp environment on Long Island? Yeah. Um, I think right now it's, I think it's the same as a lot of guys spending lots of time in the gym. Um, trying to get my strength up, my speed, um, time on the ice, just making sure I'm ready to go when when camp rolls around or when I'm in cam loops, just to be to be ready to go. Make sure my legs are under me and I'm I'm confident going into the season. My last one for you, Dalen. I mean, 
it's no secret, you know, you're, you're an old, older player in the league and there are a few guys around the league, right? The, the Jared Davidson's, the Ben Kings that, that heard their names called uh, in 2022 at the NHL draft. And when you look back on, on the moment and, and, and finally hearing your name called, I mean, what is, how does that make you feel about, you know, just the work you've put in uh, the support systems that you've had uh, throughout your, your minor hockey and now your junior career and, and just, you know, is it maybe even a little bit more gratifying to know that you've been noticed now that that you've got an NHL team that's that's willing to to make you part of its future? Yeah, it's it's been a it's been a long time coming. It's something it's something you dream about um, as a kid, and to for it to finally pay off as a as a nineteen I guess twenty year old now. Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty special. Um, it's it's something. Like those guys, they they go and went through the same thing I did watching two drafts and watching your name not get called and then to see it pop up. It was it was pretty emotional, but it was pretty cool. It was a cool moment. 